and I'm going to show you today how to create a design and inkscape for custom vinyl decor. Okay, first thing we need to do is go to document properties and make sure that we have our document set up to the right size. We're going to change this to inches. The width always needs to be 24 inches because that's the width our vinyl is. And then the height doesn't really matter because it's on a roll, but we just want it big enough to be able to put our design on. So we're going to go ahead and go out of that. And here we've got our document. Okay, I always like to change it to grid view so that I can see a little bit more clearly what I'm doing. And I'm going to zoom out here. Our customer today would like us to write the text, Families are forever. And they want it in, oops, let's zoom in a little bit. Do that a little bit better. Okay, and they would like to have it in a script font. So we've already selected a font that we're going to use. Okay. Now I just need to make it the right size. So up here I'm going to change this to inches once again. And we're going to make it 2 inches tall and 10 inches wide. Okay, that is our design. Because we are using a script font, we need to um, merge the cuts or else we'll have double cuts that will overlap. So we're going to go here to Path, Union, and then we also need to look at the stroke and fill. If we have this filled, it will try to print it like a real printer. And so we'll have the whole thing just full of cuts. We need to take off the fill and instead add a stroke. So that is our design. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is just to make sure we use our space a little bit better. I'm going to go over here to Object and rotate it 90 degrees. We need to have a border around the edge of the document because there are margins that so we need to make sure we, if we put our design too close to the edge. It will just um, not cut it because there is a margin. But we'll go ahead and cut several of these. I'm just going to put them in a line. Okay, everything looks good. So now we are ready to cut. I'm going to go over to File, Print. We're going to select the GraphTech CE 1060 and push Print. And um, that will cut our design out.